Hey guys, so we're going to try connecting the GTEC E180 to the Wi-Fi network. This is going to be my final attempt for the night. This has been going on now for the last two hours I've been trying this. And this is not the first time I've been trying to do it. So what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and start up the EasyPrint 3D app. Go into settings, go to Wi-Fi. As you can see, I've had it connected to the network before, but it's not receiving an IP address. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send, uh, Set, and then we're going to go into the app. As you can see, I'm already logged in. If you are new to the app, you'll have to create an account and log in. Once you're logged in, you go to Print, and we're going to go to Wi-Fi. We're going to go to Next. It should discover the Wi-Fi on the 3D printer. It failed to discover it. Let's try it again. Okay, now it's discovered the Wi-Fi on the 3D printer. We're going to go to Next. We're going to go to select the network. In this case, it's going to be the Belkin. And then from here, I'm going to enter the password. I'll do that just off camera. Okay, so the password has been entered. I'm going to hit OK. Nothing. Let's try it again. Nothing. One more time. Nothing. So now I'm going to go Let's see, let's go to settings. I'm going to go to Wi Fi. Right now it's connected to the printer. So if I go to my network that I'm wanting to attach to, and I connect to that network, and I go back to Easy Print 3D, and I hit OK, now it says that it's got the network. So I hit OK there, but see I don't have an IP address now. Of course now it's not going to do anything on that part. So my next thing was, okay, so if it's not receiving the IP address, just let me out of it. <laughs> if it's not uh, getting the IP address, which now it's Log me back out, which that's another problem I keep having with the app. Please log me in. It's not going to log me in. Anyway, <laughs> guys, this is a part of the video that I did not want to make. I, at the moment, am at a complete loss. I I cannot even count the amount of hours that I have tried between the D200 and this printer to get to connect to my Wi-Fi network. I've even went as far as to purchase another Wi-Fi router and place it in this room. It's literally three feet below this tabletop. So the signal strength is as strong as it can possibly be, and I still have having problems with it. I don't feel it's the Wi-Fi network that I have. I don't feel it's the Wi-Fi on the 3D printer. I believe the problem is in the app. Now I have tried my Samsung S7 and had complete failure with it. I tried the AT&T tablet. This afternoon when I walked in, just before I turned this camera on, I was able to get the printer to connect to the Wi-Fi network, but the app crashed and by the time I got the app brought back up it was disconnected from the 3D printer. But at that moment I actually had an IP address listed. Now I can't even get it to grab the IP address. And what's funny is if I let it set for a couple days and I come back and I try it again, the very first time it'll catch an IP address and then after that it won't. I've even went in tonight uh, while I was doing this filming because this, this is probably take number 25. <laughs> I actually went in, turned off my, my 
uh, modem, turned off my main router, turned off all the routers on the network, restarted everything so that everything can get a new IP address, and I still can't get to catch an IP address. Now this is something that I strongly, I think a lot of it can be fixed if they would take and make it so that the 3D printer you could do just like with a Canon or an Epson or any other uh, inkjet printer where you select the network on the interface, put the password in and let it connect to the, to the network on its own and then have the app connect to the, to the printer that way. I strongly believe that would work out a lot better, but there's something about the app that's, that's keeping this back from its potential. And I'm really hoping that GTEC can get this taken care of. I believe in them as a company. I believe in their products. But this is one thing that's been a selling point on both the D200 and the GTEC E180 is the Wi-Fi capability. And I believe it's something that can be fixed if they would just take care of the app. I, I honestly believe that's where it's at. Um, I'm going to forward this video to GTEC uh, customer support and... Uh, I'm going to definitely be working with them and try to, you know, try to help out the best I can. But I'm hoping that they can get this figured out so that we can use the Wi-Fi because I really believe that's one of the strong selling points of both of these printers, the capability of being able to slice a model and print from your cell phone or from your tablet and not have to have a computer. Because let's face it, in this day and age, PCs and Macs are starting to drop off. Right now, you can do almost everything from your tablet and from your cell phone. <laughs> and I believe they're going in the right direction, but I, there's just something that's, that's, that's broken, broken in the communication between the app and the 3D printer. But anyway, enough of that. This printer is meant for 3D printing. That's what it's going to end up doing. I'm going to end up going back to the 3D printing on it, and then as soon as I know that there's a fix for the Wi-Fi, I'm definitely going to bring that back to you. Like I said, this was a video I did not want to make. I have tried my best not to make this video, but it's come to the point where I need to, I need to say it. And thank you so much for watching. And I really hope if any of you have this printer or the D200 and you were able to get the Wi-Fi to work properly, please sound off in the comments below and tell me what you did, what settings on your routers that you have, something to, to give me a, something to go on. Um, if you have one of these printers and you can't get it to work, please sound off once again in the comments below. Like I said, I'm going to forward this to GTEC and maybe they will hear your voices when it comes to this. And from that, maybe they can figure out what fix needs to be, needs to be applied to this. But thank you so much for watching. You guys take care and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too, that way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care.